by accessing our calibration menu. We have three different ways that we're going to calibrate this machine. We're going to do distance and diameter. We're going to do the automatic width. So width gauge first, driver gauge, tip of the shaft, run to the inside of the bell housing, and this is done. Next, we're going to do our distance and diameter gauge, yellow button. Remember distance and then we're gauge to the tip of that bit right there. Green button, just rotate the width gauge around. Green button again. And then we're just gonna move the gauge down to the next shallow part of the shaft. Okay, next step to do the calibration and the other gauge. We're gonna need a 15 inch wheel, steel, and a tire because the after step is going to be weight calibration. So if you see here on the screen, it says 381 millimeters. If we were to measure from one end to the other end of this wheel, it's gonna measure 16 inches, not 15. It'll be 15 inches right here where the bit of the tire meets the wheel, and that's what it seals. So we're gonna go ahead and change that measurement to 406 millimeters which is 15 inches. Now we'll grab our diameter gauge, right against the loop of the wheel, bring it forward, bring it forward. Our gauges have been calibrated. Next step we have, we're gonna do our weight calibration. We need the 15 inch wheel, which is used to do the calibration of the diameter gauge. We're going to need a 100 gram weight gram given to the yellow button for the weight calibration. We're going to measure our wheel, 15 inches. We'll also need the width, 7 inches. We save it, and if you look at it on the screen, it says that you're not supposed to have this weight on the gear. So we're just going to go ahead and close the hood. Once the cycle is completed, it's asking us to put our three and a half pounds, 100 gram weight on the outside of the wheel at 12 o'clock. There's a little arrow right here on these shafts and I always use that arrow as a point of reference. I point it up always at 12 o'clock so that way I can insert my weight on the same plane on both sides. All right, we're going to install our 100 gram weight Three and a half ounces on the outside part of the wheel. Close the hood. Once the cycle ends, we're just gonna move our weight again, 12 o'clock. Remove the weight from the outside lip of the wheel to the inside. When the circles end, stop spinning. Just rotate your weight back again to 12 o'clock. Press your green button, and your calibration is done. Last step of the calibration is going to be our empty shaft calibration. We did the calibration weight. We did the calibration on the arms. What this calibration is going to do is going to zero out the pieces that are inside of this machine. So every time you do an assembly on here you'll be able to detect the correct amount of error is going to be in there when it's, when it's spinning. Stop spinning, arrow forward. Now you have done all calibration steps, your machine is ready to use.